it's Angelic Lulu again with a Let's Play video. This is a uh, first game by Greenheart Games. Uh, it's called Game Dev Tycoon. I found it on Steam. Uh, you'll notice on the top here, uh, it has my game development company name, Aria of the Fates. Uh, I'm kind of in the middle of the game. I've made a few games. Um, I'm here's the timeline here. I'm three years, eleven months, and two weeks into the game. I have a little bit of cash because I've had a couple successful games and I have 872 fans. We have uh, industry news. Recent market data shows that the Govador G64 seems to be slowly losing market share against other PC manufacturers. In an unofficial statement, a G64 employee said that the company has been unsuccessful in introducing higher priced computers to compete against newer and more advanced PCs. You'll notice that this really doesn't change here, this graphic. You make your little character what they look like, but it's really just the back of them. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to develop a new game. You name your game, but first, to get a good idea of a name, you might want to think, I've unlocked the rating feature, so I could have it young audi audiences, everyone, or mature. Let's go with everyone to start with. You pick a topic and you, through research, you unlock more and more. I'm going to go ahead and make a dungeon topic. Uh, genre, you want to think of what goes with dungeon best. So if I were to make a dungeon RPG, that seems like, and I've already done a dungeon RPG before, so it tells me that that's a great combination. Now I'm going to pick a platform. Um, I've already started working with um, TS. Um, and I've noticed I had an adventure game on there. It did not do well, so it has negative. It's not a good match. Let's see if an RPG is good on the TES. And then a game engine, which I called Awesome Sauce. It just has different audio and saves and things that you can do with it. Right now my game's gonna cost 60k to make. It's a dungeon RPG, let's call it Dragons and Dungeons, just because that actually doesn't matter. It'd be kind of cool if the name did matter. Uh, you want to decide what kind of graphics. I went straight to the 2D graphics. I never even made a game with text-based graphics, but I'm gonna keep developing my higher level 2D graphics here. And as you're making it, my last game did not do well, uh, Bounce Bounce, is now off the market. It sold 10,183 units, generating 71,309 in sales. That was a horrible game. You'll notice these little dots are going to go up at the top, and that's showing you how your game is developing. What's really cool <clears throat> is how you can decide what you're going to focus on in your game. Since this is an RPG, I know I'm going to need more story and quests uh, focus. Gameplay is going to be important. The engine is going to be less important, I believe, in a dungeon RPG. Alright, and as I'm developing it, you'll see more of these little dots go up my design and my technology. Bugs is something I'm going to have to work out before I release the game. Let's see, uh, RPG you're going to want better dialogues, pretty good level design. AI is going to be a little less important for RPG, I feel. Looks like I'm not developing too much with the technology. Today, Nenvento has an announced that they will introduce a portable gaming device called the Gamelink. I will buy the Gamelink. 
The device comes with changeable game cartridges, a monochrome screen on a green background, built-in speakers, and even multiplayer support via a connection cable. Ah, memories. Compared to PCs and other gaming consoles, the GameLink is underpowered, but given the low cost and excellent portability, it might find a huge following, especially when they get a hold of Tetris. The GameLink is said to hit, shel hit shelves next month. Alright, with the dungeon RPG, the sound's going to be less important. I know you're going like, what? Sound's less important? RPG? Most RPGs have the best music. Well, trust me, I've developed RPG games. They don't think the sound is important. Ooh, lots of bugs just popped up there. I think that's the most bugs I've ever had. You'll notice the bugs are going down as I'm finishing up the game. Alright, zero bugs means I can start it and release it. Alright, I level up each of these skills. Now I am level 3 gameplay and it's just how much points I put into those or how much I vitalize those. Um, prioritize those, I mean. Uh, let's see... Looks like it's gonna be a good game. Let's hope. And I have a new research available. Better user experience. I wonder what that is. Alright. First reviews. I love the reviews. Alright. A seven. Good game by Stars Games. Seven. Nice experience. Informed gamer. Six, quirky but good. Sounds like me. Game hero. Eight, very enjoyable all game. So an average of seven. Not bad. Not the best I've done. Must have been the name. Dragons and Dungeons. Next time we'll maybe inverse those. Alright. Today the new game platform Gameling by Nemento has been released. Alright. Well, I want to do some research to get some more things going on. I want to maybe... I have plenty of money, so let's do some better user experience and research that. And you'll see my research bar go in, do, 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 and you'll see my sales over here of Dragons and Dungeons. It's ranked 39 on the charts. Still selling pretty strong here. You have successfully researched better user experience. Alright, we want to generate a game report of our game to tell us what was good about it, what made it, and if I can make a game better. But you don't want to release something that is like the same genre. I thought, hey, I can release a sequel. No, they don't like sequels, apparently. Our post-game release analysis of Dragons and Dungeons is complete, and we got the following results. Gameplay seems to be quite important for this type of game. Platform genre match, RPG with the TES is just okay. Topic audience match, everyone with Dungeon is great. Alright, so we got a report in. Uh, I'm going to quickly research a new topic before I make a new game. I'm going to keep going down the list. Here's some sci-fi. Otherwise, I just have the same topic games over and over, and that's kind of boring. I did add a lot of fans, if you notice, up here. Dragons and Dungeons is now off the market. It sounds so wrong to say Dragons and Dungeons, like I can't even get it out because I want to say Dungeons and Dragons so bad. It set, sold 43,457 units, generating 304,227 in sales. That's a pretty good amount of money, I have to say. I'm quite happy with that. I now have sci-fi! With the growing interest in video games, there is also a growing audience for video game magazines. These magazines offer a great new way for game developers to market their upcoming games. Alright, new research available. Marketing. Alright. Let's make a game and then research. Let's develop a new game. Alright. 
Let's go with everyone again, and we found that dungeon is actually really good with everyone. But instead of a dungeon RPG, let's go with a dungeon action game. Dungeons and action sound good together. Uh, sh if I look, the market share of the gameling is definitely going up. Hmm. Let's go with gameling. I have to pay to acquire the license to make games on there, but let's go ahead and go for it. Um, and I'm still going to use my awesome sauce, though I didn't use much of it last time. Um, so it's on the Game Boy, it's Dungeon Action Game, let's go with, um, Dungeon 2. We never had Dungeon 1, but that would just make people wonder. Alright, same type of graphics. Alright, here we're developing. It's an action game, so I think the engine's gonna be more important. And less with the story and quests. I don't want to completely forget it, though. Because that would make people unhappy. Um, since it's an action game, let's make sure that it has... I don't know, linear... Well, these are already highlighted, so let's go ahead and just put them all in. I forgot I did use those. They just stay highlighted. Alright, Dungeon 2. Can't wait to see what it makes. Looks like I'm developing a lot of technology with this one. In action, you're gonna need less with the dialogues, I think. <laughs> Thinking like Devil May Cry type thing. Uh, dialogue wasn't the best in the world. Um, I'm gonna jack up the sound a little bit, though. I find an RPG sound more important than an action game, but I don't know. Maybe you need some really good grunts in an action game. my games. Come on, wait till the bugs get out. If you have more than one million cash, you will be able to move to the next level. Ooh, this might sound like a lot, but don't worry. Once you release a hit game, you will get this to this amount easily. Vena, creator of the Master V console, has announced the Vena Gear. Hmm. A portable console to directly compete against the game link from Nemento. I had the gameling. I didn't have the Vena gear until much later when I picked up at a yard sale. A spokesperson for the company said, unlike similar devices on the market which don't come close to the gaming consoles of the Vena gear, has basically the full power of the Master V, except that you can take it with you. The Vena gear also has a full color screen and eats up batteries if I remember correctly. Will this device topple the gameling? We will see. The Vena Gear will deb debut in two months. Alright, my bugs are almost gone. Zero bugs, finish, yay! New combo, so I get a little bonus to my XP. My stories and quests have gone up. Level design, or AI, world design, graphic. Ooh, that's nice. I'm gonna have a lot of things going on. Ooh, I leveled up. Not that I know what that means. New research available, simple cutscenes, level edi editor, open world. So I'm definitely gonna want to research some stuff. Uh, I decided I want to do marketing first, right? And notice they use RP, which is your research points up here. That uses a lot of research points, but hey, let's go for it. The first reviews for a newly released game, Dungeon 2, came in. Oh, it's a mediocre game. Six, I like it, Star Games. Six shows potential, informed gamer. Seven, beautiful game hero. Beautiful on that green screen. Seven, enjoyable, all games. See how it sells in the first week. Rank 53, that's not very good. Boo. 
I've successfully researched marketing. I can access marketing options in the action menu, but only while a game is in development. Okay, so I guess I... I want to generate a game report though, so I know what's good about the dungeon scene. And research points are always good as we see. Today the new game platform Vena Gear by Vena has re been released. Is there anything like the Sega game gear? It's not gonna do that hot. Dungeon action is a great combination. Level design seems to be quite important for this type of game. Really? Platform genre ga match, action gameling, okay. Well, I don't have puzzle. Alright. Which might mean I need to research. Let's see what we got. Why is it all space stuff? I don't want space stuff anymore. Um, I guess I'll keep going down the list. I'll research and then I'll make a new game. Alright. Once I make this last game, then I think uh, we'll call it quits for here. Develop a new game. Um, I don't want to make... Let's go young. It's Nintendo, so maybe young will be good. Uh, what do kids like these days? Uh, let's go with space. All kids like space, right? Girls, boys, space is also. A space simulator. That would be cool. At least I think it would be cool. Who knows? And we'll make it for the game wing. Use my engine awesome sauce here. Uh, space. Space. <laughs> There we go. Space Space. <laughs> it's a kid's game. Title, whatever. Alright. So it's a space simulation, so we'll probably want good engine and gameplay. Bless with the story quest. Yeah, let's go with it. Dungeon 2 is now off the market. It sold 37,523 units, generating 262,689 in sales. I was gonna say, not many bugs there, but boy am I learning a lot. In two months, the G64 will be taken off the market. No! Ow! Cat! Why would the cat jump on me? Alright, let's see if we can market. Marketing can be a very effective to reach more potential customers, but it can be very expensive too. It is best to experiment carefully with marketing to get a feel for what works best. Don't invest too much and remember that timing is important. Don't invest in your marketing efforts too early in development or too late. Uh, okay, let's... It is also important to know that no matter how much money you pump into marketing, it will not make a bad game successful. To the contrary, it can even hurt to market bad games too much as it will obsess upset your existing fans. Okay, let's see. We want to advertise. Let's just do it in magazines. Developing a great game is not... The only recipe for success it is essential to build hype to ensure that players are excited about your game. In the beginning of your career, hype is mostly generated through random events, but once you gain more experience, you can use marketing and other strategies to generate hype. So we have two hype. Uh, space simulation, we'll want less with the dialogues here. Hype 3, Hype 4, woo! Um, we'll go with it. Lots of hype, lots of hype, lots of hype. Alright, get the bugs off. Hardware manufacturers around the world were surprised today as the Govador, the creator of the popular G64, has filed for bankruptcy. Aww. Govador failed to introduce a higher priced alternative and was forced to shut down production of the G64. The platform will retire from the market early next year. 
Oh, all those games I made for it. And no more bugs, so let's do it. New record, new topic, new combo! Lots of bonuses! Do, do, do. Look at all these things leveling up. Sound is finally leveled up. Can make better dialogues now. Alright, let's see my reviews of Space Base! Ooh, that's not good. Fun at stages, star games. Enjoyable by Inform Gamer. Could have been better, Game Hero. Yeah, it could have. Five. Falls a bit short. Alright. G64 is no longer supported. You've released five games for the platform and earned a total of 1.1 million. Alright, so that's where we're going to end for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see about doing another next play with this game.